Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in my mini data center build log. Um, this is actually two components for my NUS or Network Unified Storage Server. Um, I'm, I'm going to do two products in this video since they're both accessories for the server. They're not main components and quite honestly one's just a cable so there's not a whole lot to show. Now over here on the left, or the, the right actually, sorry, <clears throat> this is a trip light S506 dash 18N. This is an 18 inch SFF8087 to SFF8087 cable. Um, also known as a internal mini SAS cable. Same parts on each end. The package it comes in is just a sealed baggie. You see the label on it. Product number, label and everything. <clears throat> if you notice it's got a lifetime warranty which is good. I mean it is just a cable but at twenty some dollars a piece, why not have a lifetime warranty? See, it comes with two zip ties holding it together. Holding it together pretty good, actually. <clears throat> it's a good size cable, 18 inches. It's got caps on the ends, which is nice. Pull it off. You can see it's just a standard mini SAS cable. <clears throat> Not a whole lot to show. I, I will say that I do like the braided cable. Um, it, it's flat, which is nice. It's going to make cable management pretty good. And I believe 18 inches is going to be just enough to reach from my SAS expander to the back planes. Um, Trip Light also has a 12 inch version, you know, a foot, which I'll probably get two of those for the SAS expander to the RAID controller just because they're a little bit shorter cable management might be a little easier now onto the cool new product I, I'm in love with this thing I think it's great this is a Cyba SY-MRA25023 they call it a PCI mobile rack and basically it's a chassis that you put in a PCI slot and it gives you a uh, hot swap caddy for a two and a half inch drive hard drive, SSD, whatever you want it works <coughs> This is actually a second generation model. The first generation has the same model number, the MRA25018, um, which the, the main issue with that one was that people said that putting a, a hard drive or a solid state in there, it was too tight and the when you latched it open, it the, the hard drive would stick so you'd have to pull the cover off the, the case and actually have to slide it out and it was a pain. But this is a new model, not a lot of reviews on it out there. So hopefully this will be one that people will see and enjoy. Comes in a nice box. There's a list of accessories which you may or may not be able to see, read. Sorry, it's not a macro lens. Um, it comes with the actual product. It comes with a SATA data cable, a SATA power to Molex power cable, um, one screw to hold the PCI slot in, and the manual. This isn't really an unboxing since I've already opened it, but I did put it back in like it came, so if you want to call it an uh, unboxing, go ahead. Styrofoam covered up. Got the manual. <clears throat> Nothing on the back. This is neat. It's a little protective film for your hard drive. It goes on the back side of the hard drive to uh, protect it from damaging any of the PCB on the back of a typical 2.5 inch drive. Just a clear film made by 3M, so it's you know can't really get much better than 3M. Got a, a SATA cable, don't know the size, and here's the actual device inside here. We've actually got a little key, and the key is a triangle. Here's a screw, and I'll show you the the keyhole in a second. <clears throat> and here is the power cable. This has a SATA power on one end, and the other end's got a four-pin Molex, and it's also got a, another four-pin, looks like a floppy power, maybe? That's actually used to power the light on the front of this device. Uh, this is metal. It, it feels really good. It's really sturdy. You can see the spring there on the side under that. And here's the cable for the LED light, I believe. Um, there's the LED light right there on the front. I haven't powered it on yet mounts in, you know, here's your mount part, and on the bottom it's got this little bracket, I don't know if you can really see it, but 
that straddles one of the PCI slots to keep it nice and sturdy. Nothing actually goes in the slot, it just sits on top of it. Um, on the back, you've got your SATA power, your SATA, and the 4-pin power for the LED. And the release on this one is different than the older version, so that's, you know, it's something new about it. Right here's the actual screw hole of the lock. It's a small triangle, and it just turns 90 degrees to lock or unlock. To open it, lift up the slatch, and that pops up. Again, it's spring-loaded, and it's, it's, it feels really sturdy, and I, I like that. I like when it doesn't feel cheap. And when it opens, you can actually see down in there, it's got a lever. I don't know if you can see it. Come and see it right there. It's got a lever that's going to push the drive out. And the latch sounds pretty good. It's good and solid. So, here I've got a 250 gig Scorpio Blue drive. We'll throw it in there and so you can get an idea. Open it up. Take the drive. You can see it slides in there freely. <clears throat> and actually, the, the bottom of the drive isn't touching that. Uh, it's got, I think, raised sides to keep it kind of floating in there, so that's nice. You can see that lever again. Wanting to push it closed. You push the drive closed, it mounts in there. It's in there. Doesn't move. It's in there getting sturdy. Again, it's all metal. It feels really good. And when you unlatch it, it actually pulls the drive out for you so you don't have to slide it out because of that, that lever in there. Pull the drive out. Slides out great. So I uh, only bought one of these to test it out. I'm going to have two of them and one actually going to have solid states in there. And until I buy those, I'm going to build the OS on this 250 gig Scorpio Blue just so I can get things up and running and test it out, play with it and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so that that's really much, you know, that that's pretty much it. It's not a whole lot to it, but it is really cool. I'm sorry if I sound a little overexcited for it, but I think it's a neat product, especially in this Norco RPC 4224. You know, I've got the 24 three and a half inch bays, but there's nowhere to really mount other bays. Some people like to mount them on the back PCI brackets. Um, I, I'm I think this is going to be a great product, and we'll have two of them, so I can have my solid states in RAID one. But that's pretty much it. So. If you have any questions, comments, just let me know down below or check out my forum on overclock.net. Links down below. So, see you guys.